Hi guys and welcome back to Pixel Cherry Ninja's channel. Now if, uh, if you've been messing around and playing around with your analog pocket and you've kind of looked at all the cores that are available you will know that we have a Super Game Boy core. Um, so the Super Game Boy was an attachment for the SNES that would allow you to play your Game Boy games on there. Now it's not something I ever had, I ever experienced or I ever used. Um, a friend of mine actually bought it from me when I had a shop but uh, it's not something I ever checked. Now one of the reasons people like using this is well it's because of the different palette choices that you get so uh, on the core if you press the two shoulder buttons um, and okay here we are we've got all the palette choices so see we've got quite a bunch here that we can go through uh, which is you know which is something people like for the Super Game Boy uh, I don't have nostalgia for it my main nostalgia is for the green screen now there's quite a few different um, palettes here that you can go but that's I just wanted to show you this to kind of give you an idea of what we're looking at in this video so you can now use these palettes on the Game Boy now unfortunately it's not available via open FPGA uh, it's only available via either a cartridge or a flash cart where you can use one um, or via the GB studio so if we go let's go to cartridge because I've got my uh, I've got my cartridge in here so I've got my my Tetris in there so let's um, right okay so we can uh, in order to get to the filter set at the end of this video guys there's going to be a tutorial i'll show you step by step how to get these running all links everything that you need but uh what we will do so we've got like the normal filters right that we've got in open fpga i mean that, that's my favorite one there sorry not an open fpga we've got we've got the normal filters that we've got for cartridges and gb studio not open fpga i take that back and that's this is the one that i'm waiting for but there are a bunch of nice ones out there uh you know we've got we've got this one for example the red one in uh, in the open fpga PGA side so but what we can do now is we can have palettes so in order to have the palettes running so the if you hold down the analog key and move it all the way to the left it that's the option there that we want which is analog GB now if we then press the analog button um, and head over to settings pocket systems GB video and then in video we go down to color palettes and here you go these are all the ones that analog have so they've got grayscale mint blue green purple and let's go to let's go to custom now and when we go to custom we we can load a custom palette so these are the super game boy ones like the ones you saw at the beginning these are based on them so you know everyone has a bro i've got a super game bro so a big massive shout out to him and also william who's also known as wonky retro gamer for actually tagging me and bringing this to my attention so he's actually left a a g drive uh, link out there for us guys to actually download it and add these like i said at the end of the video you'll see how you can add these um to to, to, to be used on your game boy now i have to specify i've tried using them on open fpj you can't access this menu via open fpj you can only access this menu via uh, either a cartridge or if you're using a flash cart in the cartridge slot so the cartridge slot and gb studio right so that's the way you can get it but it's nice to see these choices whereas previously you had to load the super game boy core well now you don't now you can just run it on the game boy now um as much as i want the green filter the fact that it's available via gb studio still makes it very very handy so as you can see there's a, there's a whole bunch of stuff there so that's that's the cartridge right so let's exit this and let's go back out and let's go to tools and let's go to gb studio okay and with gb studio i'm gonna load bubble bubble because i kind of like how it just kind of sticks on the title screen here for a bit and uh who doesn't like bubble bubble i mean it's not the best version of bubble bubble but man it's it's bubble bubble it kind of works on the game boy dmg so again if we hold down the analog button and cycle uh that cycle well in this case i'm going right we can see the filter so let's go all the way back to the left so we're back on oops i've disconnected the oh it's connected again okay cool i hold that button down for too long on this one right so um I'm, i am actually using it wired so that's probably why it connected straight away so let's go back to that one okay so now let's access the menu and here we go let's go back into settings and let's go to pocket systems gb and um video and then from video color palettes and it's got to remember the like the last one that we had but we'll, we'll we'll go through a few of them again um i'll just flick through them quickly because we're going to have the same title screen on there as you can see it's changing to super game boy colors these are based on the super game boy and you can go with whatever ones you like if this is your thing personally i don't think i'm going to use many of them because for me it's about the nostalgia and for me the green the green screen is the biggest nostalgia i have and like out of the game boys i don't care if the game boy advance is newer more advanced 
The DMG will always be my favorite. I prefer it to the color. I prefer it to the GBA. It's the one that I like. And it's the one with the green screen. And like all of us, you know, a lot of, a lot of us playing these devices are old men, right? We've got children. We're family guys. And we're kind of, we want that nostalgia kick. And I get that from the green screen. And I hope that gets implemented into OpenFPGA. Right now, it's not there. And uh, like I said, if you want to get these up and running for yourself, guys, stick around till the end of the video. And you can do. So it's kind of up to you which one you want to go for, how you want to mess around with it. But options are good and this won't interfere with your display filters because these are custom palettes that you put you've put on uh you've put on your analog pocket so all your display filters your normal display filters will uh, still work in open fpga the ones that are in analog will work these are just custom palettes there is a way for you guys to design your own custom palettes there's uh there's articles on uh, analogs website that kind of talks you through it and that's your own thing to learn i'm a lazy guy i found super game bro uh, super game bro uh link these up on uh, on his twitter with a google drive uh, link i downloaded it easy peasy we done it but again you want to know how to do it step by step guide at the end of this video if you're not interested in it then cut off this video anytime you want don't watch the guide at the end it's not going to be for everyone i mean it's not something i will use i will add it on there because you know i do content it's what i do uh, i do like checking stuff out and i do like having the option there but man green screen for life baby right let's go <laughs> let's go handheld uh and let's go game boy so we're open fpga let's just run a game let's go back to bubble bubble right because you know what bubble bubble is bubble bubble right okay where are we here we go bubble bubble and once this loads up you can see so if i am um, so I've got all the analog display modes. I can still go Triniton, you know, all the display modes. And I'm trying not to hold the analog button too long on this controller because it starts disconnecting. So kind of tapping it down and moving it right. So, you know, we've got we've got a nice twist. But like I said, we're missing that green DMG one. And we're missing the one that I wanted the most. And uh, most people that I speak to, including friends of mine, you know, we grew up playing Game Boys together. It's the green screen that we want on OpenFPGA. And I I'm sure it will come. It's just a matter of time until Spiritualized uh, adds it to the core or whatever it takes to kind of get it done. So let's just go back. Okay. So we got, we, we, I'm kind of just going to put it on normal for now. But as you can see, when we go into core settings, we don't have an option. Uh, at least not that I found to load uh, custom palettes. We've got all the different display filters here. They're all available. Uh, just press uh, press reset there or reset to default. Uh, and then in mode settings, again, we've got size. We've got the inter integer scale uh, settings, uh, frame bending and sharpness. This is actually quite interesting because if you want it to look more like the Game Boy screen, you can put that down. I'm kind of I'm kind of used to the sharpness and I kind of like it, especially with that with that with that green DMG filter when we have it. But uh, yeah, it's nice to be able to put that down. You can make it look a little bit more blurry, like an original kind of Game Boy screen. So yeah, that's that's kind of it. So guys, I'm gonna move over to the tutorial now. So uh, yeah, if you wanna if you wanna stick around for the tutorial, stick around if not guys you know this is this is where you're kind of done if you don't want them but i would recommend putting those on there because hey you know what what have you got to lose you've got extra options on there you know you can run the super game boy core and play it uh, or you can just have them on uh, on your game boy you can run them on your game boy cartridges you can run them on the gb studio stuff now again like the analog pocket is just becoming better and better honestly every day with every update it just improves and honestly it's such an awesome device i want more handheld fpga devices but as it stands now this device is the fpga handheld champion until something comes along that is this is just the truth anyway let's do that tutorial Oh, still here. Okay, that means you want to watch the tutorial and you want to get these palettes on your analog pocket. So, um, big thank you out to William again for actually tagging me. I, I love it when you guys tag me and bring stuff to my attention. I, I would not have known about this unless William tagged me. So, thank you for that. I mean, I follow Super Game Bro. They follow me, but you know, it's hard to see everything that's on Twitter. There's a lot of stuff on social media. So. Thanks to William. Thanks to Super Game Bro. So um, I'll leave a link to this tweet. If you go to it, you can see what Super Game Bro says. Uh, sorry, I keep calling him Super Game Boy. It just kind of rolls out, doesn't it? It's, I can see what Super Game Bro has said. Hey, I made this set of custom palettes for the analog pocket modeled with the original Super Game Boy palettes. And here we go. There's a G Drive link in it. And then it gives you a location of where to put them. So, uh, oh, sorry, that's how to run them. But you put them in Assets, Game Boy, common and then palettes and we'll, we'll have a look at that so let's first go 
to the G drive link. Now, I always find G drive a little bit confusing. I don't know why, it's just not always straightforward. But in order to download, you know, you don't want to go and download each one of these individually, right? You want to download them all in one big blast. So let's now go over here where it says custom palettes, click the little arrow next to it then just simply click download and that will that will download it for you it will just take a second I don't know why it's taking why it takes that long but uh is, is it downloaded yet okay it has downloaded oh no sorry that was my previous download for a different attempt on the video so here we go we've got it we've got the the second attempt now sorry this is this is a second retake on this so here we go we've got it here I scanned it earlier, it's clean, there's no viruses, uh, it's all good, but I always recommend guys, you know, do your due diligence, it scans when it's coming down, but I do usually, here we go, let's just do it for the video anyway, here we go, I've, I've just scanned it using Windows Defender, no threats found, so, okay, let's go ahead and unzip that or unpack that, whatever you want to call it. I use 7-Zip, but whatever tool you've got on your PC, if you're not sure what that is, then just, just kind of look up 7-Zip and what it does. It's very easy. I imagine most of you have got it. So let's just extract that over here for good housekeeping. Now let's just uh, delete, delete, okay. Let's delete the zip. Okay, so once we go in here, let's open it up. We've got custom palettes. And that's all the different custom palettes there. As you can see, Super Game Boy 1, that's what we were seeing on our screen at the beginning of the video. And where do we add those? So uh, if you remember what Super Game Boy said, Super Game Bro said in his tweet, assets. Then we want to go down to GB because that's where we're using the palettes, common. And then once we go down to comments, you can see it. You've got palettes down there. Now, I've already got those in here, but let's say, for example, I didn't. I just need to copy and paste those inside here. So I'll do it anyway for the sake of the video. It's going to ask me to replace it. I'm going to replace them all. And that's really it, guys. Yeah, you've got like what you saw at the beginning of the video is what will work for you now. So use these on your cartridges or anything by the cartridge slot, whether it's a flash cart, whether it's an original cartridge, an original Game Boy one, or you can use this via GB Studio. I'm still really happy with GB Studio. It has the green, it has the green filter that I like. I'm likely not going to use many of these, but I do like having the options there. And who knows, maybe for certain games, I might like some of them. There was like a blue looking one that I liked, and I do like the blue color. And that's really it, guys. This was a, this was a tutorial. It was easy. I want to send a massive, um, massive, you know, just thank you out to... Um, yeah, to the guys, to the guys. Here we go. Let's, uh, where, where are they? Here we go. Uh, a massive thank you out to Super Game Boy and William. So that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, thumbs up, subscription, all that good stuff is super appreciated. Take care of yourself. Take care of each other. This is Pixel Cherry Ninja out. <laughs>